Welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise. Myself, Jason, bring you our Christmas whiskey advent calendar. Today is day number 21. Now, if you haven't missed any of the videos, I'll leave them linked just over here in the top corner, so you can go and click that. It'll take you further through the playlist, and you can catch up with any videos you have missed. So, day number 21. Whilst I get this door open, I'm going to leave you guys a question, and Mr. Bananas will read it in the next video. So be sure to leave an answer. What's your favorite whiskey? Now, this is a very difficult question, but if you have like a particular favorite brand, uh, let me know down below in the comment section because I'm gonna read through them. As you guys know, I read through all the comment sections and I wanna know what's your favorite brand of whiskey. So, there we go. So, that's door number 21. Ooh, it's one I haven't tried before. The Hudson Manhattan Rye, Rye Spirits. 46%, day number 21. So another whiskey I've not tried yet. Um, recently, if you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, uh, which I'll leave over here, you'll see that I'm really getting into rye, especially if you follow some of the Facebook groups. Um, I put a post asking which rye whiskeys do people recommend, and I had almost 236 replies, which is absolutely insane. Um, so I've actually done and, well, gone and placed an order for a few rye whiskies. Uh, one will be Whistlepig, Mictors, um, a few others, and we'll feature them here on the channel this year because I'm trying to develop and um, add to my current portfolio of whiskies that I've tried, and rye and bourbon is a major weakness. So, Hudson, Manhattan Rye, Monkey, Mr. Bananas, you will take this, or maybe you can keep that for a second. So, ooh, it's got a very nice nose on this one. So, we'll get into the nose, so into the nose. To begin on the nose for the Hudson, it is very sort of interesting. It's got quite a lot of menthol -y notes, a little bit of mint, a definite cinnamon in there, and it's like a cinnamon sort of cinnamon stick, but at the same time, you've got those flavors, a little, a little bit of sweetness behind it. Almost like cherry cola. I've never had that in a whiskey yet, so this is like a first. Even like uh, corn, but it's like um, those, when I had it in America, um, candy corn. So candy corn sweets, have you ever tried that? This is what I'm getting on the nose of this one. It's got like even like a slight perfumery edge to it, but rice are completely alien to me. So it's really very unusual for me to smell a rye whiskey. And when I do, it's like a great learning curve experience. What's the actual ABV? I think I said 43, 46%, so it's not super high. I recently tried the Sazerac 18 and that was, wow, that was fire water. That's what I'm gonna say. But this is nowhere near Sazerac, but this has got a very nice, inviting nose. Lots of character, spice, that cherry cola sweetness. It's got a very nice nose. Let's move into the palette next. I'm looking forward to this one a lot. The palette for the Hudson Manhattan Rye has definitely got a mouth-warming texture, a nice, nice little bit of ginger. This is not candy ginger. This is like you've taken a little cutting of ginger, you put it on the taste buds, you're chewing it now, and it's releasing that heat, that burst of heat spice that always goes all around the palate. It does have even a little bit of a character that reminds me of dill. It's a herb. You guys don't know what dill is. And it's got that cherry cola sweetness that keeps coming back but much more sweeter this time. Wow, that changed, that changed as I was talking about it. It does even have a little note of green cardamoms, but it's almost finished. It was quite short on the palette. It didn't really last very long. So I'm gonna have a second sip. Actually, we're gonna judge the finish and then I'll come to my conclusion on the Hudson because I'm gonna stay with this one for a little bit longer for the full review. So anyway, into the finish. The finish for the Hudson's got a little bit more of those spicy edges, which sort of don't feel really rounded out, but the flavors just keep going and going. And then it sort of just finishes out quite really abruptly. Not really going on for too long, but it was quite intense whilst it lasted. Those characters of that cardamom again are back in there, the cherry cola. Now a little bit of an oaky character. A little explosion on the side over there, a little bit more. 
or that cinnamon, but this is like almost like a cinnamon pastry. If you've ever had sort of like a cinnamon bun, this is like they were trying to sprinkle it with cinnamon, but then they just dropped all the cinnamon on it. And a little bit, like a dash of nutmeg in there, just giving that little bit of extra burst of flavor. Overall, really nice. I like this Hudson rye. This could be up there with my top favorite rye so far this year. I've only tried three, so still getting into the game, but if you want to recommend any rye you like, um, probably do that. Otherwise, on that note, I think I'm gonna wrap the video up there. You guys have enjoyed, by all means feel free to drop it a thumbs up, a like is always appreciated. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, which I'll leave over here. And I'll also leave some other videos linked on screen. So if you fancy going and checking some other videos you have missed, by all means, feel free to do so. Now you probably needed subtitles, because I spoke so fast. On that note though, this has been Jason Whiskey Wise, and I'll catch you all for the next video. Salonja!